Hey everyone, John Henry here from School of Trade, and today we're going to be talking about trading with Donkian channels. So Donkian channels are actually something that was created back in you know the, the 50s or so. They've been around for a really long time. A guy by the name of Richard Donkian actually created them, uh, and he actually created one of the most popular trading systems around, uh, which back then was trading four-week price channel breaks. But uh, currently, that's not as widely used, but the, the channels themselves are still a pretty widely used uh, indicator by several types of traders, whether it's intraday uh, or trading long-term trends, daily, weekly, monthly, all kinds of different uh, uh, types of traders that use this type of indicator. Uh, essentially what it is, and I've got it loaded up on my chart here, it's these lines that are kind of enveloping the highs, lows, and then you've also got the midline right here. And basically what it's doing is it's going back the past X amount of days, where X is the, the number of uh, minutes, hours, days, whatever it is, the setting that you put in the indicator itself. In this case, this is a 20. Uh, so it's a 20 Donkian channel, meaning that the past 20 candles in this case, uh, it's putting a bracket around the highs and lows of that area. A trade would then be triggered, uh, or a breakout in this case, would be described when price exceeds that number of, in this case, bars. So these 20 period ranges that we're seeing here, they kind of draw these these sort of flat lines across in tops and bottoms, and a trade would be triggered once we exceed those highs or lows. So in this case right here, that would have triggered a short. So this works on both breakups if you are going to the upside, as well as breakdowns on both directions. Uh, now a lot of folks can use several different things to you know use this sort of a filtering method, where whether you want a, a, some some moving average or something in the background that sort of filters your trade. Uh, but the actual trade itself is fired off when you break those channel areas. Uh, in this case, we broke down here. That was a nice short trade entry. Now, getting into these trades is relatively easy, uh, and it, it's pretty simplistic. It's a pretty straightforward method. Uh, now, you always want to be sure to place your stop as well, right? So when you get into the trade, you know, where should, where should you put your stop? Well, the first thing is first, your stop is going to go at the midline. So when you get triggered into the short trade, your stop immediately gets placed right up in this midline. You can trail this midline on the way down. Uh, now you'll notice it does actually, when you first get into the trade, it doesn't put you in with a whole lot of risk. The, the distance to the line is usually pretty close. Uh, so the initial risk on the trade isn't that bad. Uh, now, you do have a couple different options when you're looking at placing your profit targets. We know where the stop is going to go, but the profit targets are sort of the area that's going to be kind of important in this. Uh, now, the wider the channel's range itself, the bigger the move is expected to be and the wider our profit targets are going to be conversely to go along with that move. Uh, you do also have an option as well of just putting a profit target using you know, 50% or 100% of the channel's range uh, set as the target. So you do have a couple options uh, when it comes to that. Uh, so a couple different examples that we can look at, you know, um, the, the one that we discussed right here, where we broke below those lows, your stop would have gone right about here or so, and would have been trailing down along with this. Now you can use that as sort of a trailing stop if you wanted to, but that is going to kind of cut off a lot of profits. Uh, just because it is the midline, it's always going to be relatively kind of in the middle. That's why it's the midline. So when you get triggered in, you know, you might end up uh, getting a nice move like that, but you, you also left out the distance of here. Now, this is only a 15-minute chart, so that distance isn't that big. But when you're talking about, you know, a daily chart, weekly chart, or a big move like we saw back here, you know, this, this wick down easily, well, we can measure it, easily broke down uh, 41 ticks. But if your stop is all the way back in the midline, you gave quite a bit back. So it's just more of a protective thing. You still want to have targets uh, in this case. So again, using that 50% or 100% of the range itself is usually a pretty solid area to look to take those profit targets out. So that's going to be trading with Donkey and Channels. If you have any questions about it, feel free to send an email to School of Trade. And don't forget to check out our trial at schooloftrade.com. Have a good one. Bye.